little background for those of you who are new to the channel or haven't seen any of my recent videos with this bike. This is a 2015 Yamaha SZ07. Had it for a few weeks now. As far as other bikes I have, use mostly my scooter, which is a PCX 150, a Honda PCX 150 for school. because It's just so convenient and cheaper parking. My first motorcycle, my other motorcycle, which I still have, is my Honda CBR 500R, that's a 2014. So that's where I have most of my experience with motorcycles on and what I usually use to benchmark other bikes to. Like I said in my first review, if you haven't seen that, check that out first. The bikes are very similar in that they're both torquey bikes. They're not super sports, both pretty economical, reliable, very good ratings. Comfortable to ride, up, up, upright seating position. The CBR 500R is about 471 cc's, makes about 42 horsepower. This FZ07, I think is 600 and 79, 78, 71, 89, something like that. CCs makes about, I think a little under 70 horsepower, maybe closer to 68, maybe even 65. Uh, styling wise, this obviously is a naked bike. I do have an aftermarket windshield there, Puig. I would say definitely if you do a lot of um, higher speed riding, you'll definitely want to get the windshield just because Obviously with the naked bike, you have no protection otherwise. Other big differences, like I was saying before, with this bike, you really get to use more of your gears. With the 500R, I feel even though I don't need to, I'm, I'm just shifting throughout the gears a lot quicker. I'm usually riding six gear. Part of that is me trying to be economical on gas. With the 500R, you, you, um, you're obviously redlining those gears a little faster. So I'm in fourth gear now going about 50, 45 miles an hour. It says I'm in eco mode. Right now it's saying I'm getting about 94 miles per gallon, which is fantastic. 81, I mean, how reliable those readings are, I'm not entirely sure. I do however know that it's a lot more reliable, the readings than the, feel that engine shifting, I mean engine braking. A lot more reliable than the CBR 500Rs. So that's another thing that really pleased me about this bike, the fact that you can get really good fuel economy on it. Other things that made this bike a really good pick, the price point, especially once you get into the second or the used market for these, you can get a really good deal on them. This is a bike I strongly feel, more strongly than the CBR 500R, that you could just have this as your one bike. It's an all-rounder bike. Comfortable for longer rides, do the seating position and once you get the windshield it's comfortable can easily maintain higher speed it's economical so you can really uh get a lot out of your fuel tank styling wise it looks great power wise it's fantastic as we'll see i'm thinking i'm gonna still put this as a part two the highway part part two this is more going to be focused on um if this is a good starter bike and um as far as getting this as a first bike I do think it's possible. In fact, the previous owner had this as their first bike. However, I'll say what he said. So he said he was able to have this as his first bike for a few reasons. He was also thinking between this and the CBR 500R, yet he decided to go with the FZ07 route. So it's definitely possible to have this as a first bike, but there are a few things to keep in mind. I think he had one, some dirt bike experience beforehand, which is why he wasn't as hesitant to get this as his first bike, first motorcycle, street legal motorcycle. Likewise, he said that for the first few months, he was really babying it. So that means not going crazy on the throttle and cranking the hell out of it. And you can really help prevent yourself accidentally doing that by doing what I'm doing right now. Just uh, shift into a higher gear earlier. So while I could be in second gear right now on this bike, I'm putting it in fourth gear just because a few things. One is keeping it a little buzzier, uh, less buzzy. Better on fuel economy on eco mode again. And also for the fact that 
I can more easily just one hand it right now, just baby it right now, and more relaxing. So when I'm talking like this, it's a lot easier for me to just kind of sit back and kind of talk like that. What about, what do I think about this being a good starter bike? Yeah, it's possible, again, if you have some kind of background experience. So I would definitely recommend at least doing the motorcycle safety course, the MSF course, regardless of anyone, I, I recommend taking that course because you learn a lot of great essentials. Um, even if you do have experience with motorcycles before, you're learning a lot of safety, safety related information that you probably wouldn't know. Not a lot of it is common sense. It'll make you a more aware and probably safer rider out there. So definitely recommend that. Like I'm trying to think for my situation, if I was to come directly from the PCX 150 to this, how I would have felt. I would have definitely found the first two years very intimidating, but if someone told me, hey, just uh, shift through them a lot quicker, don't crank them as hard, you'll be fine. The only thing is with this bike, because it's not super fast, like it's not going to take you, you're not going to go 140 miles an hour on it. Never got anywhere that close. I think the fastest I've taken is like 105. And that was me being an idiot. But first of all, how about that view, eh? <laughs> like I'm a Canadian. So I definitely think there is the possibility that this could be uh, a first bike for you. It's not going to be, def I don't think it's going to be the best first bike. CBR 500R was definitely easier to learn on because it's much more forgiving. If I'm in a wrong gear, it's not going to really punish you for it. It's not going to really chug. Likewise, if I accidentally shift down to like second gear right now, really risk falling on my ass. It's not that powerful in that sense. So with the CBR 500R, I still believe that is probably the most comfortable first bike for you to start on. Whereas with this, you can definitely start on it, but it's going to take a few extra weeks for you to get used to it. Especially if you're someone who's not entirely certain how much you like motorcycles. Just because this is a bit more intimidating with this extra power and torque that it might disincentivize you to continue with it or you might get freaked out one time when the bike does something you don't exactly expect it to do. You might be like, oh snap, I can't take it, you know? I'm not saying that's going to be exactly the case for everyone. But those are our things to keep in mind if you are considering getting an FZ07 as your first bike. Again, I'm just always trying to think of like my experience starting on the 500R, what I guess struggles or things that came in mind. So those are things like, yes, I could accidentally shift into a wrong gear and the bike would be a little funky, but I know that'd just be multiplied if you were on this bike, it just because it's just so much quicker and faster and more torque and things like that. So you're more likely to get in trouble on this bike versus that one. So my belief is if you have some dirt bike experience, maybe you've taken the MSF course, you can go right ahead into this bike if you're comfortable with those smaller motorcycles like that. If you have no experience with motorcycles, which was kind of my case, except with, with the exception of like scooters, the 500R was a better choice for me to start off on. With the uh, exception of the looks department, I consider this to be like a, a bigger CBR 500R. So could this be a good first bike? Yes. Is it the best first bike for someone to start off on? It depends. Keep in mind the fact that you can get into more trouble with it. But if you are aware of what the bike is capable of, if you have some kind of background experience, it's going to be much easier to get into. Otherwise, I'd seriously still consider the 500R to be the best starter bike for a lot of people, especially those without any experience. If you're interested in uh, my opinions, thoughts on the CBR 500R, I mean, like 90% of my channel is on that bike. So check out my other videos, my other reviews. I've done some highway review videos on that and talked about if I think that you'll easily outgrow the bike or not, which I still don't believe you can. I don't need the extra power here. It's just a more fun bike. Light and nimble. So it does offer improvements over the CBR 500R, but not ones that <clears throat> you exactly need so much. But anyways, hopefully this uh, video helps you out if you're considering getting this, either upgrading from another bike or considering getting this as your first bike questions concerns about the bike be sure to ask below either myself or some other fc07 rider will be able to help tell you about it likewise if you have a specific question regarding a comparison between some aspect of this to the 500r be sure to ask that below i can help out with that absolutely and if you're new to the channel this is a great time to subscribe it helps the channel out 
It'll help you guys out as well, giving you, making sure you're on top of the latest content. And as always, guys, until next time, peace.